Hmm. I'll bet you're not as clean as I think you are. Let's fix that, shall we? Hi, I'm Katie. This is The Normal Girl Show, and today we're watching Fruits and Veggies. So, why bother? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Most produce is grown outdoors and in soil, so there could be soil particulates on it, and even the occasional bug, you're just going to want to rinse off. But more than that, produce, even organic produce, can have soil microbes on it, and accidental contamination can occur at any point in the chain from farm to table, including the numerous other people that touched your perfect apple before you did. And one can only hope that they all wash their hands properly. So with that to think about, let's take a look at how to wash this. Now, depending on how much produce you're washing, you can either do the spray method or the soak method. So let's start with the soak method. And this is good if you have a lot of produce to wash or for veggies with a lot of crevices like broccoli or cauliflower. And I also like to clean lettuces this way. So you'll start by putting your veggies in a large basin or just in your clean sink. Then stir together a mix of four parts cool water to one part white vinegar. And the acetic acid in the vinegar is antimicrobial, so by using it, it's gonna help kill off more of that microbe nastiness that could be on your produce. Then just cover your produce with the vinegar rinse and let them sit for about two minutes for softer fruits and veggies and up to 10 minutes for harder or thick skin veggies like cucumbers or melons. And while your thick skin and hard fruits and veggies are soaking, you can scrub them with a stiff bristle brush to remove any excess dirt. When your produce is done soaking, rinse it in cool water and just pat dry with a clean towel. So now I'm sure you're wondering, does the vinegar leave a taste behind? I haven't found that it does. The water to vinegar ratio seems to be enough that the flavor doesn't linger. But if you don't feel comfortable using the vinegar, that's totally okay. You can still get a lot of benefits from washing your produce this way in just plain water. Now, if you've got a smaller amount of produce to wash or fruits that are porous like berries, you can use the spray method instead. Add the vinegar rinse, still four parts water to one part vinegar to a spray bottle. And for this, I like to use distilled water because I'll be storing the rest of the rinse for use later. And I want as pure water in there as possible. For the soak method, you can just use tap or filtered water. Okay, now liberally spray your produce with the rinse. And if you're doing just a piece or two, you can actually just hold it in your hand, spray, rub it around a bit, and then rinse after about one to two minutes. If you're washing berries, the best method is to pop them into a colander, spritz, and then toss them a bit. And then allow them to sit for about one to two minutes before rinsing. And berries can soak up water really quickly and lose their flavor, so you don't want to soak them. Just a spritz and a rinse under cool water for these little guys. And then carefully pour them into a clean, dry towel and dab them dry. And now a quick note on pesticides. Most fruits and veggies have been sprayed with some form of a pesticide, possibly even an herbicide. And while you can't completely rinse those away because they do tend to seep into the skin of most produce, you can rinse away any excess. Now, a lot of them are water soluble, so just a good rinse and scrub in clean water can do the job. Now, if you're still not comfortable eating produce, no biggie, you can just make a scrubbing paste by mixing together three parts baking soda to one part water. Then just use the scrub on your produce to help remove any excess pesticides from that outer skin. And don't mix your baking soda and vinegar rinse together because that fun volcano of bubbles that occurs is actually lessening the effectiveness of each product. And if you wanna do both the scrub and the vinegar wash, I suggest doing the scrub first, then rinse and do the vinegar wash. If you're only gonna do one, then it's up to you, but I'd pick the vinegar wash. So that's all there is to it. Make sure you always wash your produce before you eat it, even if it is organic. And eat as many fruits and veggies as you can, even if they're not organic, because those little buggers sure are good for you. All right, down in the description and on the blog, I've got a link to this year's Dirty Dozen, which tells you the produce with the most and least amount of excess pesticides, so you can best decide where to spend your organic dollars. All right, I'll see you next week with an all natural cleaning DIY. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. And until next time, stay normal.